In the previous video, we have show you how to create shopping recipe on visualbasic.net using Visual Studio. But in the previous project, in here we have just font, and in this tutorial, we will show you how to change your font of your company into the image or logo like this. Okay, now. We can open our latest project, and this is our latest project or previous project that we can running this. You can see is uh, there is no image or logo in here. We will replace this with uh, some logo. In this tutorial, uh, I already prepare two logo in here. You can uh, prepare your logo. Is we recommend using PNG files. I have two here. One with color, one with grayscale. And if can, you can only using a uh, black. Just the color is black because the printers commonly uh, support that black with color. And then in here. Uh, let's try to go to form one in form one design click project in here and then choose reshapes reports this is your properties okay in here after that you can uh, go to resource resources in here then because we don't have uh, anything file or image we can click this to create new one after that change this string to image and we can click add accessing files now uh, go to your image i will using to image if the printer support color i will using this and if just black i will using this okay remember the name is logo and my image in here okay let's go to the code we will try to find the this is the name of store we can just give this comment and then we can just copy usually to create a letter with font we doing like this but in here we don't using a the script but this is is draw image okay this is draw image before that we can declare first that gym uh, logo image as image in here equal to my dot resources dot resource manager dot get object okay this is a content the name of your file in the resources let's using the color ones this is the name is logo so you can add uh, the string in here logo like this okay and then uh, in here just logo image in here for the position we need to convert to integer okay uh, e dot big bounds okay dot width we need to make the logo is appear on center 
is different with letter and font we need to declare the width of page also the width of image so i need using uh, the size for my logo of course and defeat too because we need to make it center the five the five in here is same position with uh, the new sphere store this is five okay and then for the width of logo this is 150 this is the fix okay the fix size then for the height is 35 in here now uh, for easily to one by one verifying that no error we can just running this first we can comment this you can comment with these tools okay i want to see the logo first okay the logo is appear because uh, in the previous we have uh, just five rings from the top then in the new logo we need uh, more higher in here so we add uh, some hit in here 55 for example because this is 35 you can approximately the best position is 55 okay if too much you can try to uh, reduce the size or the range from the top okay this is enough so uh, you can using plus 15 you can using 55 and then in here is plus uh, 15 again or because the range is more from invoice ID we can also plus 20 if one this is the same values because this is one line okay let's verify okay and this is the one line also let's remove the comment we need add uh, 10 for example so we just change from 75 to 85 let's see okay right and then we can also uh, need 15 in here or because uh, this is some uh, static you can using the, the time picker or the format from visual basic if you can uh, if you want to change this by using automatically i just show using manual to easy understand here you can explore or modifying the code okay right and for the line uh, in here I change to 115 and I want to also uh, replace this with star like this <laughs> okay 
and then let's try to uh, open our project okay right and then for data grid view for data grid view is at uh, 15 also 15 in here you can download this source code we put link into description and also for the head to because there is logo i change this to uh, 145 for example okay like this if you want using static first you can also uh, change where is the static values for this is i want to using static first to easily understand okay like this now let's input you can see there uh, we cannot input after we click the print and we can add one button to create new transaction after this project is done you can uh, connect the data grid view with database it will very helpful of course this is new transaction new transaction And in here, you can change the name also, BT new for example, and double click in the button. And you can copy the script of, from data grid view, change the condition to true. So we can make new transaction in here. Okay, in here, uh, let's to input the item coffee quantity one uh, tea quantity two uh, sugar or this is one also um, shallot for example uh, this is for salt 1000 for example uh, this is for snack <laughs> just for example guys you can uh, using you want in here and the uh, toothpaste for example this and let's doing print okay now uh, our logo is appear if you need uh, the black you can also change from one to another for the image but uh, this is enough in the next video we will try to make header in the shopping recipe then we can also make a uh, ship total and the total of the price to make user is easier to understand hope this video helpfully for you